to day four of the advent calendar vlog. Today um, is the 4th of December, <laughs> as tends to be the fourth day of any advent calendar um, series. And um, I've been doing this for four whole days. Go, get me. It's very good to commit to other people that you're gonna do something for this length of time, because otherwise <laughs> chances of me actually seeing it through are probably small. But anyway, what are we wearing today? So today I am wearing my maternity version of the Bettine dress by Tilly and the Buttons, which is a brilliant maternity pattern. I made two of these and wore them all summer last year when I was sort of six months pregnant. Uh, this is in a really lovely kind of lightweight striped viscous. I can't remember where I got it from. Um, I'll just show that you can see the... So this is where all the excess is, but actually you can kind of wear it as a post maternity outfit. I don't think people would know. It's just a slightly looser fit. Uh, favourite thing on this uh, garment though, the tabs on the sleeves are very cool on this. But check out these buttons. How cool are they? I think I got these from the um, Crafty Sewer, I have a feeling. But they just, they're so great, even little faces. Little faces. Um, today's joke, uh, magic themed and therefore totally Christmas uh, related. Also one of my favourites. Um, very simple joke, uh, but a classic. Uh, did you hear the one about the magic tractor? It went down the road and turned into a field. I mean, I like it. Okay. <laughs> uh, without further ado, here is your advent calendar sewing hack tip treat for uh, day four. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Today's tip for the 4th of December is all about ribbon. If you have a ribbon that you want to attach to something, use to decorate something, and it's synthetic, and you cut the end, you can stop it from fraying by passing it through a candle flame. This melts all of the fibres on the end and causes it to have a hard seal so you won't get a fraying end of your ribbon. Fairly clearly be careful, try not to set fire to it, um, or anything else for that matter, but it does work and it's quite satisfying. You need to pass it through pretty quickly, it doesn't take much in order to melt the fibres and if you hold it for too long you'll scorch it and burn it. So you literally just pass it through very quickly, like I'm doing here for a couple of seconds, and that'll seal your ribbon. So you can go off and cut lots of red and green ribbon for your Christmas decorations without fear of fraying. <laughs>